Turns oh, Bennington missed it back there. Oh. He checks the Hurricane player, or Stall checked him. An entry from Pierre Luc Dubois. That doesn't like, help anything. Pardon me. It doesn't help anything. More yeah, even just teams. just play goal, stop the puck. Recently, the NHL has been in a weird place because throughout the entire NHL timeline, there has always been, you know, that villainized, despised, rancored hockey player. So apparently, rancor means hatred. Also, this isn't even a thesaurus. This is uh, James Duffy's book. But with that being said, there is a dilemma. As past NHL villains in P.K. Subban, Matt Cook, Rafi Torres, they're retired. And also, I do want to make this clear. Despising a hockey player is one thing. However, many passionate hockey fans take this way too far. When I went to go see the Flames, where we saw Adam Fox return to Calgary, where all the fans were communally booing the guy. That's fun in games. However, there's also some really messed up scenarios like what happened at Caudry last year in St. Louis. That was not okay. And if you participate in those activities, you need to look at yourself in the mirror and work on things, I guess. You could strongly dislike a player for what they do on the ice, but you have to remember that there is a person behind their hockey player persona. And that person may be a great guy. Imagine if in Batman, Joker didn't exist. In the movie, was just Batman saving cats from trees. At the end of the day, it's entertainment, ladies and gentlemen, because we can even look at Evander Kane. This man is now under the wing of McJesus and has apparently become a saint. Brad Marchand, this guy went from literally licking his opponents. Oh, it is a night of spite. Cheap shot artist being roasted by his fans and, and loving it like a deranged superhero villain. He has now been developing into a saint. As Brad Marchand went from being in headlines every other week to having Brad Marchand for Lady Bing fan accounts with the hilarious description of Brad Marchand is nicer than your favorite player. What world do we live in where Brad Marchand goes from the NHL's villain to having Lady Bing support. Like, would that not be the craziest plot twist? But this leads us to our current situation. Is Jordan Bennington now the NHL's biggest villain? Because this season, this man has been on another level. As if we are slowly watching his super villain arc come to life. See what attempt, there was an attempt, to body check Jordan Stahl. Into the night right here. Bang! Good technique, goes shoulder to chest. 6'4 mutant who weighs, you know, around 60 more pounds than Biddington, where Biddington would get absolutely embarrassed. And on this topic, I keep seeing many people defending Biddington on this play because their sentiment was, well, took him out of the play, didn't he? In what world does getting rocked behind your own net, leaving the net completely wide open, make sense versus where he, you know, goes back into the net and allows his multiple defensemen to take care of the play? But it doesn't stop there as we would see a massive case of instant karma. As Jordan Bennington would cheap shot Jason Zucker, which was a bottom of the barrel, scum to the earth move, except in a scenario gifted to us by the hockey gods. Jason Zucker would then proceed to rip a shot five hole on Bennington. Kenny Malkin, Malkin for Zucker, got a chance, wrist him, he scores, Zucker! He gets payback and it's 4-1! And what do you know, he would be yanked from the net pulled, he would proceed to have a hissy fit, which would lead to this golden, iconic Craig Berube quote stating, it's gotta stop, it doesn't help anything, just play goal, stop the puck. But the thing is, this isn't even new. Bennington has been a baby, like when he got pulled last season in San Jose, where he would then proceed to put on his tough guy act. Pretend to hit Carlson in the face. And here's where Bennington takes his swat right there at Carlson. And pretend to square up with Devin Dubnik. What's that Barack Obama meme where he's giving himself a medal? I'll put it in post-production because as it stands, I feel like Bennington has self-proclaimed himself as the newest and biggest villain in the NHL. But here's the thing, I personally don't mind if goalies are getting involved in the play. You know, getting physical if they want to. Like, go ahead and try trucking Jordan Stoll Go for it, as it'll just make a hilarious blooper for us fans. But the NHL does have a dilemma, because we are also in a time in hockey where goalie safety, all player safety, has become very prominent. Goalies are in a limited supply, as it is. So having them go down with unnecessary injuries involving, you know, physicality, that would be an issue. 
But on the other hand, Biddington is an outlier. He's one of the only old school mentality goalies left. And I feel like it's gonna make the NHL want to tighten up their rules to protect goalies. Or they can look at Biddington and say, you know what? Go ahead at your own discretion, buddy. Because we have already seen brutal calls involving contact with the goalies. But what if the goalies are the ones initiating the physical play? Because if the NHL does allow for more physicality involving goalies, it would affect more than the ones who are asking for it, like Bennington. So I don't know. It's a dilemma for a reason. What Bennington is doing isn't new. Goalies being savages has existed since the dawn of time. Look at a player like Dominic Hasek. This guy was chucking fists, going for the body. Hasek coming out! Oh! But there is a major difference between Hasek and Bennington is the fact that Dominic Hasek backed up his villain mentality by not only chucking fists, but he also just so happens to be one of the greatest goalies of all time. Six Vesnas, three Jennings trophies, hearts, two Ted Lindsay trophies, two Stanley Cups. And what makes this villain arc with Bennington so fascinating is the fact that Bennington has actually shown he can be one of the best goalies in the NHL as this man during his rookie season single-handedly revived a last place Blues team as he would have a 24-5-1 record and he would help carry the Blues to winning their franchise's first Stanley Cup. However, this season, not only has Bennington been pulling these stunts, but he is analytically one of the worst goalies in the league, as he's currently sitting with a 3.42 goals against average and a .889 save percentage. When it comes to being crowned the NHL's biggest villain, you need some certain qualities. One, do you have a history of cheap shotting the opponents? Yep, he's done that. Two, are they beyond confident where they're just cocky assholes? Oh yeah, do, do I look nervous? Three, three, and this one is a big one. Do you have a compilation, an entire videos made about you where you are acting like a baby having meltdowns across every social media? Jordan Biddington has become the poster child for this. So the question is, is Jordan Biddington the NHL's newest villain? And if not, who is? And before we end off this video, big announcement. The RTH podcast is officially back. This is a nice quick one. Do you know who has the most points throughout November in the NHL? Pasternak. Okay, no? One more, one more guess. One more guess. Well, McDavid has been cooling off. Cooling off, yeah. Mitch Marner. I don't know. It's a good guess. No, that would be Jason Robertson. Really? Yeah. How many points? He has 21 points in just 11 games. No. Throughout November. And you know who's second? Who? Jamie Ben. What? Jamie are, you, ben. are you serious? Yep. In 11 games, 19 points, nine goals, 10 assists. He's almost had a goal per game throughout November. This guy's Jamie back. Jamie Ben's back. He's back. And confirmed. he's chucking fists out there. And you know who else? Who? Ryan Suter. I don't know. He's I, up there? No, Third? I don't know. I have two new videos are up and I especially had a lot of fun with the last one where we went over just crazy stats or records so far this season. Also, I just pulled the biggest card I have ever opened on my card channel. So I actually am a big Jack Rathbone, so not a bad I'm a big Jack Rathbone. I'm a big Jack Rathbone fan. I actually just picked up another future watch auto of his off eBay. He hasn't made a big impact in the NHL yet, but I do think he could be a potential star there. Here we go. No! <laughs> oh my god, man. After shitting on this set all video. Tim, and as always, thanks for watching.